Alright, hey guys, today we're going to be doing an exciting tutorial about matte painting through smoke. Now, basically, I had a director come to me with this shot, and basically, you got your truck here, it pulls forward, and there you go. And the director said they didn't like this truck being there and asked if it was possible to remove it. I initially thought there's no way. But it actually turned out being way easier than I thought. I had it done in about five minutes. So I thought I'd show you how. Now the biggest issue is basically you would replace the background here, but the smoke is all in the way, so there's no way, no possible way you can get around that, right? So let's uh, let's jump into it. First thing we'll do is go to the last frame where it's most clean from smoke, and we're going to duplicate our layer, command D on the keyboard, and we will make a little map painting. So we'll draw our little cut out here. And as you see, we can uh, move this around. I'm going to move it over here, cover up the truck, hit S on the keyboard to access the scale properties and we will unlink this and flip it over to negative 100. Oh snap, where'd it go? Here it is. Move it back over. There we go. Not bad. Go back to fit up to 100%. Then we will hit MM on the keyboard. Bring open our mask properties and we will feather that out. A pretty good bit. And I mean that looks pretty good. It looks like it's meant to be there, you know? So yeah. Are we done? Let's go back in time. Oh snap. So as you see, you got all this issue over here. It's all messed up. And uh, this smoke, it looks okay, but that's technically because it's copying the smoke from over here. So what I need to do is go to the last frame, right click. Actually, we'll go ahead and rename this to Matte Painting. We'll right click, and we will go to Time, and Freeze Frame. So now if you go back in time, you will see that that is no good. We're not getting our smoke. And it's just not not what we want. So what we need to do is create a luma mat that will preserve the smoke, but not much else. So let's duplicate our original video clip and we'll move it up and we'll duplicate that again. So the layer on top is going to be our luma mat and the layer below will be you know, what's being preserved from the Luma mat. So, rename it. Now we want to go to Effect, Color Correction, and Tint. Now you have a nice black and white image. And we'll go to Effect, Color Correction, and Levels. Now, like I said, we want to crush about everything except for uh, the smoke, although honestly we're going to still have the sky here, the truck, but because we're preserving that anyways, it doesn't matter. The main thing we don't want to have is uh, the truck. So we'll crush it to about there, and we will then go down here and we will set our track mat to luma mats. I don't know, I kind of want more, so we'll just back it off here. Yeah, there we go. Next, we want to basically roto our matte painting because transparency is covering the truck. Let's go to our pen tool. We will make a little cutout. All right. So I do want a bit more uh, smoke. So let's go to our luma mat, turn that on, 
and move our all right so let's move the middle one to the left more and the left one to the right because as you can see we are getting a bit of that truck and hope you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe for more give it a thumbs up if you liked it